Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be comparing two of the best text-to-speech software, which is Murph versus Well Said. Now, in this comparison video, I'm going to be going through everything from the pricing to the actual functionality and the voices, and also some different use cases. So by the end of this video, you should know which tool is perfect for you. Now, just before we get started, if you do decide to get started with one of these software, I've also left a link in the description. And if you use that link, you'll also be helping support the channel. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to be going through once again is the pricing to start with. I'm going to be opening fresh new accounts on the free plan just to show you the limits that are available. I'm also going to be comparing the different types of voices that are available. There is quite a big difference between the two. So I'm going to show you some examples of my favorite ones and you can choose which one's best from there. And then finally, we're going to do some live demos to actually show what this could be used for. So what I'm going to do right now is jump behind the screen and show you the comparison. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start here at the websites. First, I've got opened Murph and I also have opened Well Said. Now, what we're going to do quickly is run through the pricing and also the allowances on the different plans because I know this alone is going to be a big determining factor for a lot of people. So if I come to Murph pricing, you can see we can get started for free. Now, just to let you know, this is a ongoing free plan. You can try all 120 voices. You get 10 minutes of voice generation, 10 minutes of transcription, but you can't actually use this for commercial rights. You will need to upgrade to the basic plan. Now, if we have a look at the free plan inside of Well Said, what you will notice is this isn't actually a free plan. It's just a free week that you can actually use it. Once you log into the platform, you'll only have seven days to actually test it out. So that's one thing to notice. And the other part is you're only going to get four voices when you get started inside of Well Said. So that being said, Murph has got a much more lucrative free plan. And just to touch on the premium plans just for a second, once again, if you buy yearly, it's always going to be slightly cheaper. But on Murph, you can get the basic plan, which is $19 a month. You're going to get access to 60 voices. You're going to get unlimited downloads, two hours of voice generation a month. You're going to get the co uh, commercial usage as well as uh, good support. So that's what you can get for $19. If you wanted more time, you'll go to the Pro for $39. You'll get eight hours of voice generation, four hours of transcription. Then you'll get all 120 voices in 20 languages and so forth. Now, if we go to Well Said Labs, you'll notice that you're going to have to pay $49 for the first premium plan. You're going to get only four voice avatars once again. So if you don't like one of the four voices that are included, you're not going to enjoy this plan. You'll have to upgrade to the creative, which is then $99 a month, which is going to give you 50 voice avatars. Now you do get a lot of downloads, you get 250. It's quite annoying on the plan and I'll go through it a little bit, but you only get 1000 characters per clip. I'll show you what that means soon. And then you can have five projects. So that's what you can expect if you decide to go premium. Once again, in terms of pricing, I believe probably Murph is a little bit better, especially the free plan. And then you get more voices on the premiums and they're significantly cheaper. So what I'm gonna do is log into the platforms right now and show you the dashboards. Okay, so here is Murph AI's dashboard. Now, as you can see, it's super clean. We've got 10 minutes of 10 minutes available. You can see all the usage there. And we have, first of all, you can see projects. Inside projects, we can add in voice clips. On the left, we also have templates. And then you've also got some resources up top. Now, if we look at the Well Said dashboard, you'll notice it's the similar type of thing. We've got here projects. We've also got studio, which is where you can actually edit the voice clips. We've got pronunciation. So if some of the words that are spoken are not quite right, you can change it inside here by using different vowels and things like that. We've also got some tutorials and then settings. Now, one thing to notice, like I said earlier, this inside of Well Said Labs, this is not a free plan. It is just a free trial, which means you have seven days to use up to 50 clips before upgrading. So that's something to think about. So let's go into Murph once again. Let's have a look. Now, one thing I like to point out with Murph is you also get these templates. I don't know if you've ever watched YouTube or Facebook and noticed some sort of viral video happening where there's like a voiceover there's some information things like top tens or informative videos like that but let me just show you one so you can sort of get an idea so
So you can see this is some sort of like motivational type video, but they've got here these cool little templates. So if you're actually trying to create something, you can go ahead and actually choose one of these and start customizing it, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, that's something that's not available in WellSaid Labs, but I don't think WellSaid Labs' target audience is really people that use YouTube. So it's good to have, if you're creating AI text-to-speech um, projects, for YouTube, then I'd probably say that Murph is probably more catered towards it. Anyway, let's go ahead and create some examples. So I'm gonna click on create a new project. I'm going to call this the short story example. And if you have images or a video and you wanna create the voice over live, you can also add it here or just click upload later. And this is going to start creating the brand new workspace. So here it is, it's all ready to go. Your images or videos would appear here as well. Now I'm just gonna quickly go to WellSet as well, do the same exact thing. Create a project, this is going to be called Short Story Example. Okay, click on Create Project. And here it is, now you just wanna click on it and then we are ready to create. So on the left, what I'm actually going to do is I've Googled a Creative Commons short story to use as an example for this tutorial. So to start with, I'll copy this first paragraph, come back to Murph AI, paste it inside the tool here, and as you can see, we now have our paragraphs. So what you can do now is go ahead and choose some different AI voices. Once again, if you want to see where that is, you've just got all your options here at the top, just to let you know as well. You've also got things like your pitch, speed, volume, emphasis. You can add in pauses and change pronunciation if you require, all inside of the editor. But for the voice options, there is a flood of different voices, different languages, different accents that you can actually use. So if you click on the top left here, you can choose your different language. You can also choose your different accent for that language. It's pretty cool to see so many different options. Once again, there is 120 different voice options inside of Murph that you can play with. You can also filter it if it's based by male or female, basic or pro. And one thing I actually like about it is this use cases. So if you're creating things like advertisements you can come and choose advertisements and there's some recommended voices that you can use inside of it you can also do the same for things like YouTube or if you're doing things like gaming like there's just so many different options and they've put a bit of thought into it so it's not just something that you have to filter through yourself to find anything this is going to save a little bit of time I like it how they actually have audiobooks here too that's pretty cool so what I'm going to do is show you a few voices just to mix it up. I'll choose some random ones out there. So Martin sounds pretty good. I'm Martin, a professional American voice in Murph Studio. I am quite versatile, though my voice works best with formal narrations. So that's pretty interesting. It's not too bad. I'll actually show you my favorite one, right? So it's a UK one. I'm not sure, but when every time I hear a UK accent that's on top of an advertisement, it just sounds a little bit more professional. So my favorite is here, Amelia. She just sounds super legit. So listen to this. Hello, this is Amelia. I'm from the UK and I happen to be one of the most popular voices in Muff Studio. My voice is pretty emotive. So you find it really hard to actually notice that that is an AI text-to-speech generator. It just sounds so natural and actually sounds so legit versus a lot of all these other platforms out there using this AI generation sort of method. So I love Amelia, she's great. I'm actually gonna choose her for this example, but there's plenty to choose from. I recommend you get the free plan and just play around with some voices. Everyone will want different voices for different purposes. So if you're just unsure, I'd highly recommend playing around with it. So we'll stop here. We'll go have a quick look at Well Said. Now, once again, on the free plan, you're actually only allowed four. They've got five listed here, but that's because the bottom one is actually for the higher plans. So let's have a listen to these different avatars. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. Trust your gut, don't overthink it, and allow yourself a little room to play. Your creative life... So that's actually really, really good as well. I'm not going to fault it. Alana B, that sounds incredible. Let's try Wade. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. So that also sounds really good. Your creative life will evolve in ways that you can't possibly imagine. So I'm not going to lie, these actually do sound really good. Trust your gut. Don't overthink it and allow yourself a little room to play. Your creative life will... So I'm, I'm actually really impressed as well by WowSeed Studios, right? WowSeed Labs. 
these are all very good voiceovers. So I'm impressed with both of these platforms. Murph has obviously a ton more options for it. However, well said studios, these four options that you're given, it is just for US uh, accent and for English. However, it is also very, very good. So let's go ahead and actually test out this short story we've created. Once again, I'll just copy this and paste it into um, well said. And let's go ahead and actually render these clips and see how they sound. So I'm going to click build audio in Murph. It says synthesizing seven sub blocks into speech before building the project. Sounds good. And if I go to well said, I'll click on create. So if we come back to Murph, it looks like the job is done 52 seconds long. So let's have a quick listen. The first bath was easy. The nurse gently sponged her off and I stood beside the sink, one half awestruck and one half terrified, making me one whole dad. For the second bath, we had Susan's sister to guide us along. So it sounds pretty good. It actually sounds like someone reading a story. I'm, I'm really impressed with how that sounds. Once again, Amelia for the win. She is an incredible AI voice. Let's go have a look at Well Said. So here it is down here. The first bath was easy. The nurse gently sponged her off and I stood beside the sink, one half awestruck and one half terrified, making me one whole dad. For the second bath, we had Susan sister to guide us along. I'm not going to lie, that also sounds ridiculously good. That sounds like it could be a podcast. It sounds like it could also be an audiobook. So I'm not saying Well Said Labs is bad at all. These guys are incredible. Um, and Murph is also very good as well. I'm super impressed with this, right? I've tried so many text-to-speech software, and these two are clearly the best in the industry because they sound so legit. So let's go ahead, let's just say we're happy with it. Let's go and export, right? Let's see what options we have. So you can choose it on top of a video by the looks of it. You can choose voice only, music only, voice and music. Plus you can also have a script. So that's pretty exciting. Then you have some other download options, single file split by blocks, split by sub blocks, your format, quality, and your channel, either stereo or mono. So there's plenty of options inside here. I'm pretty stoked with how it came out. If I come to well said, once again, we've got our options down here. If I click on download, it's just going to simply download the audio file just like that, um, which is really cool. And as you can see, it's taken one clip off my seven day trial. So overall, looking at these two uh, options for text to speech software, honestly, I think it all depends on your needs. If you're creating something that is on top of, say, a video for YouTube, could be for different things like advertisements, things like that. You've also got your video editor down below. You can add in different types of music inside of Murph. You can also add in different images or video clips. So you can actually create your entire video inside of Murph. Whereas on Well Said, this is actually just a audio platform. This is going to be perfect if you're creating things like podcasts. If you're creating different things like audio books, this is going to be the best platform for you so it all really depends on your needs once again i think it's very specific to what your use case is both of these are great platforms if you're looking for a free plan then i believe murph has definitely got the best free plan so what i'm going to do right now is quickly jump behind the screen i just want to talk about a few extra things Okay, so there you have it, Murph versus Well Said Labs. As you can see, both of these platforms have incredible text-to-speech software, arguably the best in the industry right now, especially for 2022. So if you are looking for one of these platforms, I'd highly recommend going in and even getting the free plans and testing them out. Once again, I'm probably gonna be using Murph AI. It is a slightly cheaper, and it does have a lot more voices. Once again, if you want to test out these tools, I've also left a link in the description. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got so many great videos coming out for you in the near future. That's it from me. I'll see you on the next video.